Hello, my name is Greg, and I'd like to welcome you to another edition of installation or at least configuration of GNS3 uh, version 1.3.x. Uh, this is the video that I mentioned in previous videos uh, that I wanted to create on showing how to add a Windows Server 2003 um, server into GNS3 along with uh, Windows um, PCs uh, for um, adding uh, Active Directory for domain and uh, radius uh, for authentication of switches and, and, and any routers uh, that it can get to. Um, and also to um, provide DHCP and DNS services to the router or to the uh, uh, PCs as well. Um, there are other services that you can add, but those are the ones that I primarily use. Um, like you could add network time um, uh, to it as well, but I didn't do that. Uh, uh, in this uh, configuration. The steps on how to create the server are down below in my notes um, and there's several steps and a great portion of them are from a gentleman by the, uh, the name that I can't pronounce unfortunately and I apologize for that uh, but uh, uh, he created a video on how to uh, configure Active Directory and uh, the IAS radius portion of that configuration. Um, unfortunately his video didn't have sound uh, and he went kind of fast so it was kind of hard to to uh, keep up with so I thought it'd be best to write all the steps down uh, so somebody can watch at their leisure and, and go at their pace. Um, which helped me tremendously because <laughs> believe me it was a lot of backing up and going you know uh, the video to to keep up with them so <laughs> so anyways um, let me show you that server that's this particular server here so we'll go ahead and log into it and I just gave it a administrator password which I know isn't secure, but I mean, this is GNS3. We're, we're probably okay unless you touch the internet with it. Um, so basically in here, this is the DHCP scope that I created. Um, this is my domain, which is uh, dc01.winradius.com. Uh, I realize that uh, there is a program called WinRadius, uh, which I started out with, but it's pretty basic. Um, and that's why I, I went ahead and um, sought out to develop this uh, VM so I can use it and GNS3. Um, anyways, um, so that's pretty much the, the uh, scope. I do exclude addresses uh, 1 through 30 and um, the, this server is 30. Um, so that's why the PC started one at uh, 31 uh, so it's 31 32 and 33 and I have uh, a uh, win XP uh, win 7 and a win oops not that a win 10 PC um, on my uh, topology so basically um, that's where they're getting their IPs from um, what the uh, the gentleman that created that video, which by the way the link is to his video is also in my notes. Um, what he did was to go into Active Directory under Users and Computers and um, add under Users under his domain uh, this um, client uh, user. Uh, client one user, I should say, and there's a pa the password is password one, and he created also this Cisco admin group which client one is a member of, uh, and that's pretty much 
for the most part other than some tweaks to those what he did inside of Active Directory again those steps are below in the notes um, and then under um, internet authentication service um, this is where you set up the radius uh, clients uh, by adding clients in here by right clicking doing a new radius client and adding all your clients in here um, and then setting your policy uh, which he created this user auth policy um, and there's several steps for creating both of those um, again down below in the notes um, I added the note the steps uh, like I said for creating this VM um, and also for configuring DHCP and DNS um, and along with his steps which should allow you to create this uh, so basically I have all of those inside um, GNS3 and the way you add those VMs if you didn't see my last videos is go into preferences go into virtual box uh, VM templates and just add them in right right here and just do a new and then add them in um, one thing I will say is that the newer the operating system the more resources it takes so when XP takes the least it may not be very secure because they don't support it anymore or I should say uh, Microsoft doesn't support it anymore but it takes the least resources uh, when 7 takes even more and when 10 is a dog and takes even more so um, if you want to have a lot of PCs on your topology I would recommend using mostly WinXP or possibly Win7 um, uh, I wouldn't recommend using more than a couple Win10s unless you got a PC with 64 gigs of RAM because just having this topology open right here took 8 gigs of, of RAM and I only got 16 on a laptop so <laughs> anyways um, so let's go ahead and uh, configure our uh, router the router is not currently configured so let me bring up super putty and go into R1 uh, before I do that though let me uh, go into a PC I'll go into Win 7 that's fine and um, let me do a show or a uh, IP oops config all to show that it is getting an IP from that DHCP server as I mentioned earlier and then let's try to telnet to that that uh, router so that's telnet 192.168.2.1 and it's gonna time out because I haven't actually configured the router yet and that's what this uh, config is right here um, so basically this is the interface IP um, and this is all the uh, AAA authentication authorization uh, and radius server configuration uh, that you need in order for this to authenticate as you'll see here in a minute so let me go and copy all of this and let's go into that router which is R1 and paste that in and there we go so we should be able to authenticate let's go back to Win7 and do an up arrow and there we go so now we're authenticating with that um, Active Directory and the um, radius configuration so that was client one and password one oops I think I typed it wrong nope okay good alright so it worked um, so now we just do an EN and I gave it a password of Cisco which I know you shouldn't do but that's pretty much it so um, we're logged in to that router now um, through 
the uh, like I said the Active Directory and the radius configuration um, just to show you that um, I as you see here I do not have a login other than uh, this login authentication default which uh, gets set up up here for the triple A I do not have a, a, a username and a, a password on this uh, um, router um, so it's getting it all from there <laughs> as you saw so anyways um, if you have any questions or comments feel free to uh, to write them down below if you liked it uh, give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down but hopefully you liked it uh, if you didn't please let me know um, what I could do to improve on it all right take care we'll see ya bye